Hello there, Jose Rodriguez. I want to show you what I have been able to accomplish so far in my super messy print room. I've gotten some of my ink on this shelf right here. Precision Colors inks for the Pro 100. And right here I have some cards that need to be reset and refilled. Here's a card set ready to be put into the printer. I have some resetters there. Here I have some John Cone K3 inks that I purchased on eBay for a very, very good price, practically given away. Up here I have some boxes of stuff, uh, cards, refillables, that sort of thing. I have here a bunch of squeezy bottles with needle tips. I have some syringes back there. These are all brand new Pro 3800 cartridges, ink carts. Here I have some 350 millimeter cartridges, Epson ink. Down here I have some refillables in the corner there. These are all refillables for the 2400. And then I have paper, old Canon paper. I have 8x10, 8.5x11, 5x7 back there, 5x7 on top, 4x6. I think those two boxes back there are also 4x6. I have here letter size or 8.5x11 Pro Luster, I believe. Some staples met, and I have a case of that somewhere. And then some of my smaller size Canson watercolor papers. My son's magazines are still down here. And hopefully he will get those out soon. Here I have my modified Epson 3800 carts ready to be filled. And a lot of them are already filled and just waiting to be used. Here are the resetters for them in these little boxes right there. I have a scale that I use to weigh my carts and these right here are the R3000 refillables that I'm going to be refilling soon and putting in the R3000 that I just obtained from a friend. Now I still have a lot to do in here behind me. I don't even want to show you yet. But this area here, I still have all of my son's old toys and we're trying to figure out what to do with them. Remember, he's a 34-year-old man now. I might end up giving him to the grandson. And, you know, like they really need more toys at their house. I have a toy chest there full of stuff that belongs to my son. And over here, I have my tripod with my light source. I have the stack of prints we've been looking at on the Show and Tell series. Over here, I still have all my large... Epson ink carts, but this is a lot cleaner than it used to be. And then the last thing I'm going to tackle is this shelf back here. And we'll get all of that straightened out. I'll do the paper that I have up here. I have all kinds of miscellaneous stuff up there. But basically over there on the left I have photo papers. Center I have photo papers. On the right I have just labels. Printable labels and such. That big stack of... Uh, I think it's A3 plus in regular 13 by 19 American size papers. I have my ink press papers there. And then over here I have my Red River papers. And just stuff everywhere. I have stuff way back there. I have shipping boxes, shipping materials, boxes, and stuff that I still need to get out of here. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the new dining room table, which will then free up the table that I have upstairs, which is a nice four and a half by like six foot table. And I'll place that right here in the middle. Once I get all of that stuff cleared out of there, the table will be here. That'll be my sort of my surface for testing and, and doing uh, refilling and all that good stuff. And I'll be doing a lot more videos on those, those things. Okay, so that's it. That's a little 
update on my progress. Took me a while to get started, but the last several days I've spent working here and managed to get at least this much done. Alright, so then I'll see you the next time when I have a little bit more progress to share with you guys. And hopefully this will become one primo print room that I will be proud to have people visit. Alright, so until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.